good evening guys it's a 7:37 pm uh february 23 and today is what thursday so this is after fomc day right so today's range is 39.75 actually so 75 to 50 that was the range to 4077 in es okay so i forgot to put that 75 word here see this is the range see that here closing demand right so that was the level this became this low became this area became the low of the day today right and that's where the buying came so that was i meant here 75 actually uh, price may hit one of this extreme and go close to it right focus on preferred and backup buyers and sellers area today i am 70% long 30% short favoring right opening price action will give us a clue for the am price action or direction so it is important to watch that price very carefully at each of the levels i have circled in the chart and yesterday's end of day video also i i highlighted those circles also you know so if you remember there are a specific specific price point uh, last night movement was due to nvidia's earning okay overall sellers have a control below this but that doesn't mean price cannot go up for that up to that level during intraday okay internals may help today nqs this area is good this pretty much became the low of the day right russell this area 1890 again right low of the day dow this areas and nqs yes bias backup buyers areas are good support nq 151 area dream numbers and 107 127 are also important right so i'm so i'm giving you specific levels here right so these are the dream numbers two dotted lines right important and you can see it right of the open uh, there was a long here there was a pre market long here and opening long was right at this 195 that was the long i took it okay uh, yes i took this long you know around 23 and 20 both longs i took it this long i put the pre uh, press the button for nq i took the long in dow around uh, 33190 uh, i took the long in russell also around 1810 sorry 1910 all at the same time i just pressed the buy button in the morning because i had to go out at uh, 10 10 o'clock you know so and then i saw this is a good internals and everything was good right of the open and since i was favoring 70% long and there was another reason that this area price was holding this 1175 multiple attempts so i was not expecting price to revisit this area if it does then pretty much you know sellers can be in control at that point because they pretty much defended bias defended one time second time third time fourth time fifth time right five times they held it here and then price finally after getting this rejection from 20 23 area here now price was moving higher before open right so now buyers were there so that's why i took this aggressive longs here and this was also our preferred seller area which got broken out here okay so that was the reason and it was protected by this vwap and mid also right as a additional support confluence area so that's why that long makes sense here but then i was targeting 32 to 40 area pretty much you know that is what i said in discord and uh nq i was targeting this preferred seller area or potentially 266 actually that was my this 266 was my exit you know but price didn't get there you know so here see i was hoping that it will go here but it didn't go there but anyway by the time it was 952 and and es hit this level 32 nq hit this and but actually this was not my reason to exit uh, actually i had to go out and another reason was uh, i saw russell hitting 1970 see that was the resistance so russell hits that 17 first so that's why i was a little bit reluctant that hey if russell goes down now this guys these two guys will be little bit go down you know again and up to this point by that time i will not get any points out of it right and anyway i have to go out 
Another reason was Dow. Dow my target was 270 yesterday's high and Dow was hitting that area. You know? So since Dow and Russell were coming into resistance, you know, that's why I bailed out all four of them together. You know, anyway I have to go out. So those so that was the long, you know, our longs. I think few of the folks also took it. And then I said it looks like a trend day up based on the internals at that point. And if that is the case, you do not want to see this low revisit again, right? And by that time, so if it goes below this low, you know, something is off at that point. You have to consider because at that point, it is most probably it will come to 1175. And if that area is broken, sellers will be in control and price may fall down here, here or even here. See, this is, this, see, these are the notes. These are the circles which I gave you in end of day video yesterday that price may come here, 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 here and here. See this area became the high of the day if you look at this bottom of the circle 32 right. This area 2023 provided a response here 1175 provided a response this way. The each circle you know worked out and this 76 circle became the low of the day. See here backup buyers area. This is a preferred buyers area at the around lunch time right. That's why price bounced. These are the good areas, you know, we are talking about here, this area, 55 to 70. This area was also good, you know, so it did provide a response, right? But then, you know, by the time you have, we had a structural shift here to the downside, right? So, <clears throat> and here also I said, you know, by the time when I was leaving, I said, you know what? NQ is little bit weak, NQ's AD is weak, you know, so just watch out. That is what I said before I left, you know. And NQ was hesitating here. See, yes was making a new high. NQ was not making a new high here. You know, that was the problem. And then since Dow and Russell were in the resistance, you know, something may come up if price breaks below this. And you can see it. It broke, it broke down hard. Took out this low, took out this low, took out this low, took out this low also you know, in one shot. Right? See, that's where the structural shift happened. Right? You can even short here in this area or you can wait for a breakdown and short here. By that time, most likely price will go lower, you know, but it will provide a response is here. But when you see this and again down, you can short you know, up to this area and then you can wait after that because by that time price is too much down in a straight shot, right? So you can expect a pullback, right? Uh, and then you can look for longs up to this area. You know, and then if it's taken out, then most likely it will revisit this area. You know, that's the idea. So here also, look at this, right? So like a strong breakdown below 11.75. Right? So all these buyers are gone at this point. So short will come right here in this area. You know, retest of this area, you can short, right? But let's say price already moved down, you don't want to short, fine, then you wait then price went down 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 you just watch you can't do anything here right so when it went down uh, there was a long here also i gave it i i asked folks to take it in sim because by the time price was going down right i was at the tire shop replacing my car tires i said just take a sim long here you know and then then price flushed up right so by the time i i came back at home around 11 40 or so you know right around this time then price came down to 76, right? And then here I was watching. So I took the long right here at 77, right here, you know, because this was a very good area. It was a backup buyer area, right? And I was expecting price to revisit this. So not revisit, but to come to this area since last February 14th onwards, I was waiting, you know, for this area to get tagged. And today it got tagged you know, in a straight fashion like this. See that exhaustion. And then this also exhaustion, you know. So NQI cannot do anything here because this is not powerful area compared to ES. ES is a way powerful than this, you know. So that's why I took this long here, you know. And then price again went down, went against me up to this low, but I held it, you know. And because at that point I, I actually typed in this port that price will go to 84, 86 straight up if this area holds it. So I was targeting 84, 86. I had a 20 contracts actually right here, you know, and then it and then it hits 84, 86, right? 
I bailed out 17 of them, you know, because they was down pretty much, right? So, and it's intraday that takes over. And if buyers are really legit from here, right, then they will take it out this area. At that point, it's a confirmation. Then I can add more longs, you know, because by the time, most likely, see in the morning, I said if price goes down from here, right? And when it touched here, I said actually not here. When price was here, you know, somewhere around here, I, well, I was at a tire shop. I typed in this code. I said if later in the day, if price goes above 95, so price was here actually. So I said if price goes above 95, then it will take 4009, and if it takes out 4009, it will go towards morning 2025 this area revisit you know that is what i type when price was here so when price came down here right i built out at 86 84 area 17 contract 3 i held it you know then then so when price went above this 84 86 like this see it gets a rejection here right say so first time it got it was hesitating here right then it went higher above this so this was the fomc low right now when the price came down you have to watch here very carefully look at what it did it held yesterday's low see here now this time frame will give you more clue here see that so first time up yesterday's low acted as a resistance so you are watching it right that's where you take that profit for that 77 right somewhere around in this area or maybe here also right then price went down again it went up again went down again now it went through it so this time it went through it right so whoever shorted relying on yesterday's this broken support and resistance idea they they are in the trouble now when price came down again you were expecting price to go down fast right but instead it went higher again and it started to hold it hold it hold it hold it see that then it pushed higher straight up correct so this area see this this area it's a mini balance here right and they was down so far correct and now after chopping around here around here around here around here it's straight thrust some news happened at that time you know so the moment you i took the shot right here you know right here at the uh, at 91 i took the shot while it was news was going on you know something happened it's just a flick straight up right and so i took that shot you know and my target was 84 because and then I said if 84 is taken down, then it will flush down lower, you know. But if 84 holds it, that's where the trouble start for sellers. Okay. So first time it touched 84, it held it, it 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 basically held it, right? So I still held my contract here, you know. Then it was passing around, passing around. Then it then it went below 84, like by a point or so, and immediately popped back up. See, that's where I build up. Now I real now I know there is a failed breakdown around 84, and then price went higher. I say, I typed in this call. Now it's a failed breakdown in 84. See that's the sign that if now price goes above this high, you know, it will go to 95 straight up. And 95 was my like light insect because if it goes above 95, most likely it will visit 4009, right? So I have that much room to play longs 95 to 4009. So first time up 95 rejected. See that? So I was watching it, but now at this point, there is a fail breakdown at 84. So buyers are there. There was a balance here, right? And now price broke out about not only about this balance, about this high also, right? Then came down. See here is your entry, right here. See that? If you look at it here. See that? First time, right? Top of this balance, it held it. Bounce it again, held it. That's where you go long, right here. Okay, now you're looking for what? 4009 at least, right? Or you can wait even if you want to see whether it takes out 95, which is here, right? And you can go long right here. Your stop has to be below this okay and now you wait see that the moment it went about this look at this straight straight to 4009 see that right here 
you can even look into here see that four thousand nine twenty five right then here you take a profit or scaling right by the time you see the intraday price is already here here right now most likely now you know all these sellers are trade now it will revisit this area but we have to take a profit profit is always good you know scaling either complete profit or scaling okay then you are watching it then you see here it touch this 1175 important line right then price went down it couldn't go lower actually see that immediately pop back up and then look at this this area held as a support here and you are watching it then took out you go long right there you know <coughs> so hey guys i got a phone call so here i was here right so so here you can see it right so then you can even go long here around this area but let's say it's too aggressive i agree right it's too aggressive so you wait and then later you can see it see you're you're observing these key levels these are the levels i gave you it's pretty much in discord right only the levels i gave you one line with six levels or seven levels so you're observing this key levels right so look at this 1175 see that and now you see a bounce so when it touched it bounce it you know somebody is buying it here you can go long target 25 28 see that's it so those are the longs for today you know and sh no shorts i didn't take any shorts because anyway i was not here but shorts were here in this area you know that's it and if you miss it you miss it you know? but there were longs also you know later on and that be all for today i'll see you uh tomorrow right there was something else i was about to tell you which i missed it i forgot it but anyway i'll see you tomorrow